Three years later, she began construction on a mansion that would take 38 years to complete. When you think about a home, you likely think, well, about a home. One that is basic, has four walls and a roof, maybe a second story if you can afford it, things like that. But there are houses out there that are honestly a bit beyond belief in either their construction, their location, or just what's inside of them. So allow us to show you nine of the most insane houses you won't believe exist. Be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Number nine, luxury houseboats. What is it? A house or a yacht? Well, you can certainly call it a house yacht or we call it a floating villa. When it comes to houseboats, they used to just be a joke because who would want to permanently live out on the water? But thanks to the advancement of technology, houseboats aren't just a thing to this day. They have luxury versions. No, really. There are houseboats out there that are so luxurious that they're better than most regular homes. Plus, some are able to fit whole families and even whole scores of people. They can be outfitted with things like hot tubs, be powered by the water that you're moving through, and even dock onto land in ways that'll make it seem like a true go-anywhere home. Now sure, they can cost a lot, but some people apparently don't find that too much of an issue because there are a lot of houseboat owners out there. Number eight, house on Elliday Island. Elliday Island is home to the loneliest house in the world. In Iceland, there's a weirdly contoured island just off the coast called Elliday Island. And on that island is a singular house. Yes, just one house, and it's placed exactly in the middle of the island. The house itself was actually built by a group of hunters from Iceland who were trying to catch a puffin. Though we're still a little sketchy on why they felt the need for the house, and why they put it right in the middle of the island. The house looks incredibly tiny compared to the rest of the island, and unlike many houses. Plus, it has to deal with its own unnatural weather phenomena. Mainly, because of the contour of the island it's on, it has to endure incredibly violent winds. So yeah, it's a lonely house on a lonely island that isn't really ideal to live in. We'll pass. Number 7. Casa do Penedo If you're curious, yes, this house does translate to House of Stone. You'll find this rock home in the Faith Mountain of Portugal. It was carved out of four giant boulders, all four of which can still be seen today if you choose to go and visit this house for yourself. Despite appearances of being a home from the Stone Age, the house is fully functioning in the modern sense, save for the fact that it does not have any electricity in it due to its construction and its placement in the mountains. This house was built in 1974, surprisingly enough, and was constructed to be a vacation house for people to come visit to get away from it all. Because of its unique form and its history, the Casa do Penedo is a very popular tourist attraction in Portugal. Though why people would select this place to get away from it all kind of has us worried about them. Number 6. Cliff House this is Cliff House. It's a conceptual design from Modscape. Inspired by the way barnacles can grow on the outside hull of a boat, someone decided to make a house that was built as an extension of a cliff in Australia. This is known as the Cliff House. Obviously, what else would it be called? And yes, it really is built into the side of a cliff on the coastline of the continent. And it's built not to just be six stories on the side of the cliff, but you can go to the cliff and not see the house unless you look down. You enter the house via the roof, which has an elevator. But not just for you, but for your vehicle of choice. That parks on the very first level. Then below that is the living area, kitchen, bedroom, and more. Each floor is surrounded by windows that allow you to experience the view and landscape of the Australia coastline and the ocean. Granted, it is unique, but we think this is a bit too much for uniqueness. Can you imagine the people trying to build it and not die? Just saying. Number five, Cooper Pedy. In Cooper Pedy, 60% of the people live underground. Cooper Pedy is an Australian town next to the biggest opal mine in the world, which would be fine for the townsfolk if their location wasn't in a place that has no shade or a barricade from the sun, which can get to well over 110 degrees there. So the people of the town made a decision. They were going to live in the mines. No, really. The people of Cooper Pedy live there within the mines and all of their houses are there. But why live in a mine? 
Because of the design of the rock structure, you won't get hotter than 75 degrees in the caves, which is at least 30 degrees cooler than what's going on in the surface because of the scorching sun. So yeah, it's cooler in the mines, you heard it here first. Some have been able to outfit their homes with things like pools, and their homes within the mines are actually rather nice. And they've even gotten electricity into them in certain ways. This is the ultimate mother of necessity style of home creation, if you think about it. We approve. Number 4. Just Room Enough Island, Canada In Canada, there's a small island within the confines of the St. Lawrence River. The island is literally called Just Room Enough Island because someone realized that there was just room enough for a singular house and a very small yard. So they built that there. It's not exactly ideal, and you can't do everything you want to there because of location, but it's kind of nice. However, because this is a flowing river, it has high and low tides. When the tide is high, the yard is consumed by the water. Then at low tide, the family can come out and relax on the yard and sit in chairs. Oh, and another downside to this insane house is that the family has to use a boat to go to and from the house in order to get to the mainland. We honestly think that just living on the mainland is easier. Number 3. Winchester Mystery House There are doors that open to 12 foot drops outside. Long ago, William Wirt Winchester made the Winchester Rifle, a gun that is still feared to this day and made the family Winchester very rich. However, to his wife Sarah, it was a curse. She met with a spirit medium who claimed that the people killed by his rifle were going to haunt her for the rest of her days. In order to prevent this from happening, she made a very large mansion, one that had many different facets and hidden rooms that she could access in order to get away from the spirits and ghosts that were haunting her. The Winchester Mystery House, as it is called now, has over 200 rooms, 10,000 windows, and 2,000 doors of various sizes and intents including ones that would allow the late Miss Winchester to spy on people if she needed to. She never lived in the house, but some claim it's still haunted, and now this insane house is a major tourist attraction. Number 2. Katsuki Pillar, Central Georgia Katsuki Pillar is a natural limestone rock that extends out from the landscape below. Located in the country of Georgia, a 120-plus foot stone pillar rises above the landscape of the local area. And on top of that stone pillar is a building, specifically a church. This Christian church is kept up by a monk who lives alone on the pillar. He maintains the church as part of his duty, while also enjoying the views of the Georgia landscape. People can climb up the pillar via an iron ladder on the side of the cliff to go to the church, with the exception of women who are forbidden from doing so. That's a pretty unique place to have a church, don't you think? Plus, living there by yourself and only maintaining the place? That's hardcore dedication. Number 1. h 2 ohm If you're tired of living above sea level, check out this builder. Have you ever wanted to live underwater? You now have that option via h 2 ohm a real house that can be built custom made for you, under the water. This home is actually 3,600 square feet. That amount of space can let you have multiple bedrooms, game rooms, and more. Speaking of which, if you were to want an underwater home, you'd no doubt want to see the sea life around you. To that end, h 2 ohm has see-through walls so you can examine everything that the waters circulating the house have to offer. If you're worried about the effects living underwater might have on your body, the pressure in the house is the same as the surface, one atmosphere. So when you leave or enter, you won't have to go through a decompression process, saving you time and worry. The creators of h 2 ohm also allow you the option to customize things to your liking. It should be noted that you can get a 1200 square foot version for only $4 million, with a few extra expenses, and $12 million for the bigger 3600 foot home. So you tell us, is living under the sea really worth it for you? Think hard on that before buying this, okay? So what do you think? What do you think of this look at insane houses that exist all over the world? Which of these insane houses can you totally not picture yourself living in? Which ones can you truly say that you'd like to live in for one reason or another? Do you know of other houses that should be on this list? 
Let us know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe and we'll see you next time on the channel.